The newly found waterfall at Mambo Village was discovered almost four weeks ago by some local farmers. The area has now attracted many people from the surrounding villages and from the capital, Freetown. Some of these citizens implored government's intervention to improve the newly found relaxation resort. Clearly they show how people and they enjoy. And if you go out and come to them, Nassau will pay plenty of money for um, go get any kind of view there. But of course, um, now we come together with enjoy any kind of benefits there. So they expect the government to put um, emphasis for making people able to try to see how we will maintain this place here for real for enjoy tomorrow. Migo let the Ministry of Tourism to help for maintain and develop here because we actually help for boost the country and economy. Uh, a place where anybody will lack development will get for candy and a place where they wish for more get people that will go get the mind for candy development because it's very good for tourist attraction. You know, the atmosphere, you know, it's cool, it's calm, you know, it's like you see it, you know, it is very foggy. <laughs> we are around here, we think say the only water falling in this country, that one will be within a cluster. But unfortunately, people don't discover this one. So at this point, we will try to talk to the government and the road for candy at this place so bad, so if not that way they say them will able to help we for car, it will fine. This is the second waterfall to be discovered around the Freetown Peninsula, which visitors say is a blessing to the country. Hundreds of people now visit the new relaxation zone throughout the day to feel and enjoy the beauty of nature. It's a piece of natural beauty that you know the inhabitants of Freetown and Sierra Leone, the whole of Sierra Leone can enjoy. Let's keep it clean. And I think that also goes just for the people who come here um, not to leave behind trash, Preferably not to bring trash, especially plastics. Um, but yeah, keep it as something that's, um, that just locals can come and enjoy a piece of nature. Natural Garden of Eden right here. I joke, I joke about today. I can, I can enjoy them. I snap today. I feel fine. And next time I wish I could my family there. I can't wait for me to kill it all. And the second see. Because it's wonderful road is here and a team. We get on a salon. A salon is a very blessed country. For me, bringing people here is going to be challenging. It's, it's a challenging thing. I want them to challenge the, 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 their body, you know. The water is so amazing and even the track, like the track to come to the waterfall, it's so good for fitness and wellness, you know. So not just coming to the waterfall. The terrain, the road to the waterfall, the mountains, the way they climb. And when you go up the waterfall, you really see the natural waterfall. The place at which the water they can down, you know. Imagine they use all this way, climb all this hill and go right down. Go to the waterfall, they burn a lot of energy. The way you go there, they go under the waterfall. The water, they really beat you well and massage you back. The tourism ministry must take advantage to develop and preserve this water cascade as another landmark to rebranding the country as the Caribbean of Africa and boost the economy. Salivu Kamara, AYV News in Freetown.